I'm back. Rudrance for our Black and White Network. Well, if you can't get to Dave Chappelle, then go after his fans. Does this surprise me? Absolutely not. Transgender activist attacking the fans of Dave Chappelle that are going going out to go to a Dave Chappelle show, enjoy an evening out to watch Chappelle. Now, I've been vocal. I'm a Dave Chappelle fan. Our politics certainly don't align, but uh, align, but I believe he's the goat of comedy, at least of this generation. I mean, the Chappelle show, all-time funny. All-time funny. In fact, I just went through and re-watched probably six or eight of my favorite episodes the other day, in fact. Um, and, uh, you know, Tyrone Biggums, um, I mean, Paul Mooney was great on there. Um, that R. Kelly skit is still legendary. Um, just hilarious. And of course, Dave Chappelle has come out and he's been very vocally, not even critical of transgenders, just trying to say certain things that make all the sense in the world. Like gender is in fact a fact, right? Uh, you're either a man or a woman, technically speaking. All right. Well, that that shouldn't be controversial. It just shouldn't. All right. Uh, but it is. It is. And you know, his last special, he told told a very, um, a very emotional story about a friend of his that was a transgender that ended up committing suicide. So what did the wokes do? They went after him. They attacked him. They tried to cancel him. And Dave Chappelle sim simply said, "I can't be canceled." I won't be canceled. You will not quiet me. And what has that led to? More success for Dave Chappelle. This is Breitbart. Comedian Dave Chappelle has called out transgender activists for their violent behavior, saying trans protesters threw eggs at his fans who were lined up to see him perform last year. During the most recent episode of his podcast, The Midnight Miracle, Dave Chappelle recalled the incident that took place in front of the Varsity Theater in Minneapolis. I remember this. I did a video around uh, that show being moved, I think, to a different, uh, a different uh, venue. Quote, these were grown people of various genders and gender identities, Chappelle said. According to multiple reports, they threw eggs. They threw eggs at fans who were lined up to see the show. He said transgender protesters became so aggressive that one of his fans actually fought back. Quote, one lady was so mad with protesters, she picked up a police barricade. Chappelle recalled, have you ever seen one? They look like a bike rack. This bitch picked that barricade up by herself and threw it at the crowd. I got to tell you, it was an amazing feat of strength for a woman. Chappelle said transgender activists are working against artistic expression. Absolutely. Comedians, which used to be the one, God, I hate to use this term, safe space, but it used to be the one area that was just open season, right? Now, for some comedians, they still consider it open season, Dave Chappelle being one of them, right? Uh, but now, even a comedian has to be concerned about losing their career because they pissed somebody off they made fun of the wrong person well, being a comedian is in fact making fun of everybody and everything my god art is a nuanced endeavor he said i have a belief that there are they are trying to take the nuance out of speech in american culture and that they're making people speak as if they're either on the right or the left Everything seems absolute, and any opinion I respect is way more nuanced than these binary choices they keep putting in front of us. I don't see the world in red or blue. Transgender activists have waged a cancel culture campaign against Chappelle for years, claiming without evidence his jokes about transgenders will excite violence. Yeah, the only violence is against him. Some guy came on stage and literally attacked him. That guy got turned inside out over it. But still, nonetheless, Chappelle got attacked. And then liberal L.A. County gave the guy a bullshit light sentence. 
Netflix employees staged a walkout in protest of the show, demanding the streamer yank the program from its service. But Netflix executives refused to yield to the pressure of the campaign. And do you know why they refused to yield? Dave Chappelle makes Netflix a shit ton of money. I mean, essentially, anything he comes out with is immediately the most watched thing on that streaming service for weeks at a time. I mean, you know, they had exclusive rights to his, I mean, Chappelle shows on there and all of his stand-up, and if he's got a new stand-up, it comes out through Netflix. Um, It's crazy. Look, Dave Chappelle's got some extremely vulgar humor. I mean, it's... You can't be easily offended. And that's sort of the whole point, right? George Carlin, what the five, what it was it? The five words you can't say on television or something? I can't remember. Um, but he certainly is funny. But it's crazy. You could tell that there were people trying to cancel Dave Chappelle that in no way, shape, form, or fashion had actually watched that special. You knew they hadn't watched it. Because the story he told... I have no idea how a transgender could possibly have been furious over that story. I mean, it was a it was a pretty emotionally charged story that Dave Chappelle chose to tell about one of his friends that happened to be a transgender, right? Uh, so it's it's pretty crazy how people hear something and interpret it a certain way. Also, he has been very supportive, and he come right out during a uh, one of his comedy specials, and he supported J.K. Rowling, and of course, they've tried to cancel her. <laughs> Hell, Mark Hamill, who is a leftist woke lunatic, liked something that she posted or something about her supporting her. They tried to cancel him. It's so weird what cancel culture is all about and about this wokeism. They will turn on each other. They're like, um, and look, I love bears. I do. Grizzly bears. You know, anything to do with Montana or Wyoming. I lived in Wyoming for a little while when I was a kid. But the one thing that the dirty little secret that nobody talks about involving grizzly bears. And look. Grizzly bears are fucking killers. Okay, they are. All right? They are top of the damn food chain up there. All right? On the the, uh, farm animal totem pole, the bear is at the top. All right? Um, Bears will kill cubs and eat them. I mean, just slaughter them. All right? Something we don't talk about. All right? I mean, bears are cuddly. They do all these specials on grizzlies. Guys go out and hang out with them and then get their assets eaten. Um, But the point is, woke culture seems like a grizzly, a male grizzly bear. And they're quick to just turn and eat each other alive. And it gets ugly. It doesn't make any sense. You know, people that have promoted their ideals, if they agree with them one time, They're done. It's just weird, and it's sick. I I still continue to say there's some kind of mental illness connected to all this extreme leftism and progressivism. There's something really mentally off there. Tell me what you think, black and white network supporters. Man, uh, also check out Sebastian Man. Man- Manasuko, I believe is his name. I- I've been watching his, his uh, stand-ups for years. Got a hard-to-pronounce last name. He went after Walt Culture in his brand-new Netflix special. I just watched it maybe less than a week ago. It is very funny. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.